Welcome to the yoga den. Come on, let's do some yoga. Make sure you've cleared a spot free of any toys and any furniture. And I always like to take off my shoes. So I'm gonna put my slippers right over here next to the wall. So did you know that yoga means to unite, which means to bring together or to connect. And in yoga, we're usually trying to connect the body and the mind and our breath together. It's just like stacking blocks. For instance, we have the body block, we have the breath box, and then we have the head box. And all of these blocks or boxes need to be stacked up together to find balance and how we move around into the world. If one box or the other is not aligned, they fall down. So we are always trying to find a way to balance our body with our breath and our minds, just like the blocks. And I like to think of it as our body being what's our action and our head being what has our minds and our thoughts and all the things we can imagine and the breath being a part of and connected to our hearts and how we bring our hearts out into the world. So think about that as we're doing our yoga practice today. I'm gonna to set my blocks over to the side Another tool that we want to think about when thinking about these blocks, this body, this mind, this heart, these are all tools that we have to bring out into life and how we use to live life. But one of the main um, important things too to add to that is the idea of our imagination and how we use that imagination to bring out into the world a big part of us. In fact, this bowl could be more than a bowl, um, like a bowl for cereal, but it could also be a hat, or I can use my imagination to make this a steering wheel for a car, but maybe we can also see that it has a different function. It's our yoga bell. So let's ring this as we think about how we bring our imagination to our yoga practice and out into the world. Open up your ears. And let's see if we can hear the sound from the beginning all the way to the end. Remember, the end is the hardest part. So really listen as carefully as you can, sitting still and really tall. Take a big breath in. Did you hear it? Thank you, Yoga Bell. I'll put you to the side too. So let's begin our adventure. Turn on your imaginations and let's get our body moving. Can you tap? Tap your body. That's it. Yoga's for my body. Oh yeah, you can repeat that after me. Yoga's for my body. <laughs> Good. Now come all the way up to your head. Yoga's for my mind. What did you say? Say that again. Yoga's for my mind. Yeah, lightly tap that head. Then come down to your chest. Yoga helps my heart shine. So shine from your heart up out into the world. Shine that heart and all that love. And then catch that love. Ah, and bring it right down to your own heart. And take a big breath in through your nose, filling up that body with breath. <sighs> Do that one more time, making all that space. It feels so good to breathe. <sighs> and start to rub your hands. Mm, get that fire started. And if you know the song, sing with me. Rub your hands, sit up tall. Take a deep breath, big breath in, 
Om. And Om is just that word, that little yoga word that means a big idea. It's us connecting to not just ourselves and our town and our families, but out into the universe, to the whole world. So wrap that love around your knees. Give yourself a nice hug and squeeze. Start with yoga, with some love, and now send that love out into the world. Really, really big. Oh, it feels so good. And now stretch over to this side. Oh, big reach. And up and over to the other side. Yeah, sprinkling the love all over. And let's go side to side for tick tock. Little yoga clock, you got it, tick tock little yoga clock all right tick tock little yoga clock tick tock little yoga clock stop <laughs> so let's go ahead and take our knees right in front and can you lift up one foot and hold it up there okay use your belly muscles use your leg muscles can you let go of that foot Ta-da, you got it, you got it, you got it, and put it down. Okay, the other foot, lift it up, 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 show me your toes. That's it, hold that leg up there, hold it there. Ta-da, oh, you guys are so strong. What, two, okay, let's try two. Let's lift up two feet, hold it up there, hold it up there. Ta-da, oh my goodness, and catch yourself. Wow, you're so strong, you just made some really strong belly muscles. Let's give that a nice stretch. So put your feet in front, put your hands behind, and can you push up, 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 up into your table pose? Oh, use your muscles. Lift your belly up high. My goodness. If we're a table, we can use our imaginations to make something appear on our table. Hmm, what food could we have on top of this table? How about some popcorn? Mmm, that would be good. Let me see if I get some popcorn. Mmm, oh. what food can you imagine on top of your table? Okay, whatever that is, reach up high and get a little bite of that. Mmm, delicious. Actually, come sit down for a second. This table could also become a box. So let's press our feet and hands again. Make your second table, or this time we'll make it a box. We have four sides, right? The top of our body, our legs and our arms, and even the bottom underneath us, the floor makes the other side. We are making a box. And maybe we can open up our box by lifting up one leg, hold it up there and put it down. And lift up the other leg and put it down. All right, let's take a breath and come down and shake out those arms. Ooh, let me see those muscles. You just made some strong muscles in those arms. Mm. Big breath in. Now for fun, let's see if we can stand up, but roll up to stand by rocking and rolling on our back. So for those of you who wanna try, you can tuck your hands underneath your knees, get really, really small, and then start to rock and roll, and rock and roll, and rock and roll until you come all the way up to stand. Take a big breath in. Reach all the way up, 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 up. Hi, Sky. Can everyone say hi, Sky? Hold that hands up there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And then take your hands all the way down and reach for your toes and say hi, toes. Hi, toes. Now, hands to the floor. Step back to your down dog pose. So, arms are strong, your hips are high. You can even wag that tail. Now, stretch your one leg up. And the other leg to take your bellies to the floor. Come all the way down. Use your body to go down. And then use your breath to lift up for a baby snake. Baby snake. You're so tiny. Can you grow a little bigger? Mama snake. Daddy snake. Even bigger. Grandma snake, grandpa snake, silly snake. Whoa, you're really silly. 
Sleepy snakes. Let's go to sleep snakes. Ah, oh, so sleepy. Make a pillow with your hands and rest. Wake up snakes. Good night snakes. Go to sleep snakes. Wake up snakes. Hi. Wait a minute, there's some birds flying here too. So stretch your arms like wings, lift up your tail, lift up your heads, and let's go flying. Flying through the sky, maybe under a cloud, maybe over a cloud. Whoa, look at you flying. Take a big breath in. And now slowly float your bird all the way down and rest on another pillow of your hands, head to the other side. Hmm, it's always nice to rest in between poses too. Now slowly take your hands by your sides and press all the way back into child's pose. Take a big breath in and out. Now roll up to sit and come sit with your feet together. It's like what we call cobbler's pose because it's like we used to make our own shoes that's what a cobbler did but today we're gonna make a book with our feet so make sure your feet are together and your knees are wide open it's like a book that can close and that can open but we can also pretend to reach past our toes and put on some glasses can, can you make glasses with your hands? Can you close them till the fingertips touch and put them over your eyes? Oh, I think I see you. <laughs> These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Let's read. Use your glasses to reach down and read the book in your toes. So I read, 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 and I look, 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 now stretch. I put down my glasses, close up my book. But wait a minute, we want to read a story today. So should our book be closed or open? That's right, it needs to be open. So open up the book, come into your crisscross applesauce or sukhasana, and let's see what story I brought today. Antoinette Portis's Not a Box. <laughs> Look at that bunny, so cute. But that looks like a box. Let's see what's happening. Not a box. Why are you sitting in a box? It's not a box. Yeah, I see you made it into a race car. What are you doing on top of that box? It's not a box. Look, he's standing at the top of this mountain and it says Rabbit Peak. But why are you squirting a box? I said it's not a box. <laughs> Hold on a second. Take a look at this bunny. He's being so silly. He's squirting this box, but he's imagining it's building on fire and he's a fireman maybe we can help him put out the fire can we help bunny with that okay so i'm gonna put my story over here for now let's take our feet in front boop boop and our hands behind boop boop and remember that box we made with our table poses let's make that again now turn on your imaginations and turn this into a fire truck that we can move forward and backwards just by walking our hands and, and our feet. Here we go. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, we made it to the fire. Let's lift up a oh, big ladder with our leg. Let's save the bunny. 
and bring the bunny all the way back down. And with our other leg, can you lift it up, up, up? Lift your bottoms up higher, higher, higher. Let's use this as the hose that can spray the water. Whoosh, whoosh, put out the fire. Whoosh, whoosh. And oh, good job, guys. The fire is out. Oh, keep the bottoms up high. Use your muscles to go backwards now, back into the firehouse. Here we go. Woo, 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 woo. And come all the way down to sit. Oh my goodness, what imaginations you have. Now, wait a minute. I think there was also a mountain that Bunny imagined the box to be. Let's stand up tall in our Tadasana mountain pose. That's it, oh my goodness. Look how tall you're getting. So let's see if we can stand tall and proud like a mountain. In fact, if someone was gonna try and push us, ugh, we would not fall down. Ugh. I don't know if you have a grown up there next to you, but ugh, maybe they can try and push you and you will not fall down. Mm, we're standing up so tall. But wait a minute, this isn't any old mountain. It's a sleeping volcano. Let's have some lava inside this volcano. Put your hands in front and let's first sleep our volcano until it's ready to wake up. And there's a rumble in the feet, so wiggle your toes. A rumble in the hips, wiggle those hips. A rumble in the shoulders and in the head. Now open your eyes because we're going to erupt in three, two, one. Jump wide and open. Now turn your toes and let the lava drizzle all the way down the side of your volcano and let the smoke and steam rise up to the sky. Oh my goodness, you're in triangle pose. Let's count to three. One, two, three. Press down to come up. Oh, let's do that again. I love doing volcano. When I feel like I have too much energy or maybe I'm like really mad, Volcano is a fantastic pose to do to just get out that, that extra anger energy. So maybe inside this one, hmm, let's use our imagination. Should we try some chocolate filled volcano? Okay, here we go, here we go. Rumble in the feet, rumble in the hips, rumble in the shoulders and in the head, and three, two, one, erupt. Whoa, all that chocolate lava is going down the side of my mountain. And let the smoke and steam, and maybe it's cotton candy clouds floating to the top of the sky. Triangle on the other side. Can you say triangle? Okay, let's count to three. One, two, three. Now press down to come up and jump everything together. Excellent. Now hold on a second. Bunny's really cute. So let's bend our knees and we're gonna stretch our arms up high and we're gonna wiggle our noses and sniff three times. <sighs> Again, sniff. <sighs> and now, bunnies, can you take your bunny hands down and let's hop like a bunny. Here we go. Hop like a bunny. Try it again. Hop like a bunny and then stop. Rest your bunny knees down to the ground and take your bunny ears onto your back and you're gonna curl up into a resting bunny all the way over into your child's pose. Now bunnies, you can rest with your ears just on top of your back and take a big breath in. But if you're feeling like taking that extra stretch, you can lift your bunny tail and roll to the top of your bunny head and stretch your bunny ears up, 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 up to the sky, maybe even over your shoulders a bit. Ooh, that's a big stretch. You can always stay with your ears on top of your back if that feels better. And let's take another big breath in. And come roll up to sit. Excellent. All right, let's come back to Sukhasana and see what's happening to our Nada box bunny. Now you're wearing a box? Hmm. This is not a box. Yep, it says it's a rabbit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Are you still standing around in that box? It's not, 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 not a box. Look at all the different things he imagines it to be. What? Pirate ship? Uh-huh. Hot air balloon? Oh, an elephant. And a boat. Now, I think I just need to pause here because there's so many cool things happening on this page. Let's see if we can try some of them. Now, I see that there is a boat here at the bottom box. Let's bring our feet in front and use our belly muscles to lift up one leg, lift up the other leg. And on this boat, we're gonna try and hold our legs up high. This is called boat pose, Navasana. So balance on your bottoms and let's row our boats. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, catch yourself. Oh, you just made some strong belly muscles there. Try that again. And this time maybe you could count to 10. Let's try, ready? Lift up the legs again, hold it there. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness, you did it. Now I want to see, ooh, if we can roll over and be a pirate with a plank coming out of that ship. So arg, pirate, step your legs back. So your body is super straight like a board of wood and your arms are pushing the floor away and everyone go, arg. <laughs> oh, wow, let's walk the plank. Can you walk forward three steps? One, two, three. Oh, so strong. Let's try it backwards. One, two, three. And can you lift up one hand and do a side plank? Holy moly. Let's switch arms, catch yourself. Turn over to the other side, side plank. And then take your hands down and let's rest for a second. Take your knees down to the ground and come to the sleeping bunny. Big breath in and out. Now take your big breath and imagine a hot air balloon rising above your head. Float that hot air balloon. Oh, look at you floating in the basket. Can you come to stand up onto your tippy toes as the balloon fills up? Big breath in. Oh, look at us. We're floating up in the sky. And then let's pop. But safely we land down to the floor and right on top of an elephant. Let's ride our elephant. So you're going to stomp your elephant feet and swing your elephant trunk. And then maybe we stop and dip our trunk into the water and get a little something to drink. Go, 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 go. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Dip your trunk into the water again. Can you try it with straight legs this time? And let's take that water and spray all of our friends. Give them a little shower. Oh my goodness, twisting side to side. That feels so good. And then come back to middle. And now let those arms go. Bring your body into a robot. And this robot is finding different ways to move. So can you press the robot button on your nose? Boop. And your robot starts to move all the different joints in its body. And the joints are all the places where our bones meet. So robots, can you move your knees? Oh, look at you, robot. Can you move your elbows? Can your elbows bend and stretch? Holy moly, look at this. You can even move them up high. You can robot dance them over to the other side. You can even wiggle them right in front. You can even make your joints go in and out. You do the funky robot dance. Oh yeah, get your robot on. Uh-huh, you can do it. <laughs> do you like to dance your robot? Can you press the button on your grown-up's nose and see if they can do a crazy robot dance with you? Boop, boop. Okay, maybe it's time to shut our robot off. So let's press the button on our nose, boop, and we're gonna go right back down to sit and crisscross applesauce. Thank you, robots. That was so awesome. 
We're going to go back to our story and see what's left with not a box. Well, what is it then? I know your imaginations are probably wondering all the different things it could be. He's still thinking about it. It's my not a box. Oh my goodness. He's in a rocket ship headed up into outer space with all the planets and Saturn. And look, the stars. And there he is. His imagination is out of this world and so is yours. It can take him out from wherever he is and imagine he is someplace where he's not just for fun. And look, he's even headed to the stars. Maybe we could also take our own rocket ship hands and end up saying hi to the stars too. Thank you, not a box. Let's take our hands together like a big rocket ship and fill up your rocket ship with fuel, that big breath that you know how to take. Ready? Now blast off. Let's do that again. Take your rocket ship hands, take a big breath in. Blast off. And maybe we can catch the moon Ooh, over to this side and up and over to that side and bring that moon back to your heart. Now before we end, I want to give you a chance to think of one pose that you'd like to make up out of your own imagination. So close your eyes and just think of what pose your body just really wants to make today. And when I ring the bell, I want you to take the time to make it. Okay, ready? Did you think of a pose? All right, I'm gonna ring the bell. And while you make, I'm gonna make two. I love all the poses that you're making. Hold them, hold them, hold them so I can take a mental picture. Chick, chick, chick. Amazing. Your imagination is amazing. So come back down, float from your beautiful poses back to your crisscross applesauce. And let's reach up high and catch our own stars up in the sky. Oh. And bring those stars all the way down to make star pose as our ending pose today. It's a nice resting pose. So you're going to take your feet together just like what we did with book, but this time it's going to be a little farther out. And you're going to make the points of the star with your body. So I'm going to place my star in the middle, but I'm going to connect my fingertips like the points of a star. And look, I've made a diamond on top and a diamond at the bottom. So those are two shapes, and we're gonna connect those diamonds together. Oh, until I make a little house for my toes, and I'm gonna look inside my star. Take a big starry breath in, and out. And rest here while we sing a sweet lullaby to our star inside. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Now little stars, slowly come up to sit and take your star in your heart, come back to your crisscross applesauce and breathe into the light of the star inside of you. My little light shines to your little light, your little light, your little light. 
My little light shines to your little light. Namaste. May there be peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart, and peace in all of our lives. Namaste.